Hi, I'm Tanya Grady, aka Grady Girl, and I'm celebrating 25 years in business, y'all. If you ask me where the time is gone, I will not be able to give you an answer because I do not know, okay? Like, how can I have 25 years in a business when I'm only 25? Like, that makes no sense. <laughs> You know, I identify as a 25 year old, just in case y'all understand, you know, I'm a lot older than that, but I identify as a 25 year old. Anyway, thank y'all for being on this ride with me. For all of the people who really ride with Grady Girl, I thank you, man. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I know my true fans. I know my true supporters, people who are down for me. Hi, my name is Skylar Grady and I'm Tanya Grady's daughter and I would love to wish my mom a happy 25 years working in the TV, film, and media industry. 25 years is a very long time to be working in this industry and the fact that you've made it this far is amazing to see. Um, you are a true visionary, the way you are able to create stories on the fly and develop shows in your head before it's even written down on paper is just amazing to witness. You come up with so many amazing ideas, whether it's for TV shows or films or for a new podcast. Like, it's just so crazy to witness how much creativity you have within you. You're the most hardworking person that I know. I see how tirelessly you work and how much work ethic you have, whether it's staying up late at night to edit a TV show or calling people and staying on them so that they can get the work that they need to get done done. Um, you know, after 25 years, you still try, strive to reach your goals and never settle. And that is so inspiring to me to know that, you know, it never stops for you, that you still can achieve more and do more. And you're the reason that I'm majoring in TV and film at Howard University now, because you've shown me that as a black woman, I can do it and that I can do it all by myself. I see that you do all of this work by yourself with no help. You know, when it comes to working on your business and your craft, you are able to get it all done. And that shows me that I can do it too. Um, I've seen you as a filmmaker, a director, a host, a journalist, a graphic designer, an editor, an author, so many different things, a script writer, and just seeing you do all of these things definitely inspires me and shows me that I can do all of these things too and that I can become someone in this industry, that there is space for me. And I just would like to wish you a happy 25 years. I'm very so proud of you and just so amazed at how far you've come and where you're gonna go in the future. Hi, I'm Dr. George Fraser from Cleveland, Ohio, by way of Brooklyn, New York. I'm the CEO and founder of FraserNet Incorporated. I write books and speak on defective networking and economic development. I help people turn acquaintances into friends and contacts into contracts. And over the last 40 years, I've helped over 10,000 brothers and sisters secure over $11 billion in new business. And I've had the pleasure of working closely with Tanya Grady. She is incredible. She's now celebrating her 25th anniversary being in business. God bless you, Tanya. And may you have 25 more. You have the, the vigor, you have the vim, you have the energy, you have the creativity, you have the innovative thinking that you know allows a sister like yourself just to continue on until you decide to stop. And so it has been an honor, really, and a pleasure, A, to know you, B, to be in your presence, C, to learn from you, and to grow from you. And that's what life is about. It is about learning from the people that you choose to be around. As I like to say, the key to success is doing what you love with people that you love. And you're one of the people that I love because you are about black excellence. That's the key, black excellence. In fact, uh, we're introducing into uh, our conference this year, Black Excellence 2.0, which means we enter at the base of excellence, right? That's the entry point, right? The goal is exceptionalism. And so you have passed really 
excellence in 25 years. You are exceptional. And uh, when you're exceptional at whatever it is you choose to do, brothers and sisters, uh, you will never have to worry about opportunity. As I don't believe that Tanya Grady has to worry about opportunity. She just has to continue, stay the course, and then all that is due her will come to her, right? Chart a good and righteous course, and she has, and she's done it with, with grace, and as I said, with vigor, um, and with at, at the base excellence and and her tasks as she goes about her work uh, her, her plateaus at exceptionalism. So I love you, dear. Keep doing God's work. Uh, as I said, chart a good and righteous course, then stay that course, then all that is due you will come to you and there's more due you. So any way I can help, any way that I can serve, any way I can be a part of your life, any way I can contribute to your life, any way that I can teach, uh, and any way that I can learn from you, I'm, I'm ready to go. So keep doing God's work and let's stay connected. 2006 maybe in 2008, I could be wrong on the dates. I was working at Crypto Dollar Ministries uh, for the Change Your World broadcast and here comes Tanya Gray, somebody who had worked at CNN, a producer, you know, this whole nine yards. When I first met Tanya, I just felt like she was way too qualified for uh, the scenario that we were in working for a church, having come from CNN. One of the first things I learned about her was her tenacity. Tanya, as a person who is able to inspire it's really another thing about her that's, that's kind of awe-inspiring, just kind of watching her, listening to her. She has had a lot to do with my daughter being interested in producing and, you know, editing and those kind of things. Sometimes I would sit and just listen to Tanya talk to my daughter. Um, she would talk to her very straightforward, but the nuggets that she would share would just encourage my daughter to be herself, be creative, think out of the box. And Tanya just has a way of, because she's so off the cuff and just, she speaks from the heart and from what she knows, that true grit on how to be a producer. She, I mean, she inspired me just watching her day to day and in the scenario where we work together because she just put her passion, she put her guts into everything that she did. And, you know, I'll be honest, working with her, I remember one time she told me, I usually don't let my friends, my friends work on projects with me. Because I'm a different person on set. We play, we friends and stuff. I don't want us to lose our friendship. But she meant that. You know, me and her were friends, we were tight, we love each other. But when Tanya was on the set, and it was action, you know, camera action, you know, countdown, completely different Tanya. So watching her as a producer, watching her as a director is still inspiring. Just seeing some of the things that she's been able to do. And Tanya just, she bleeds producer. She'll see a story, I've heard her recently. I thought about this the other day, some of the things that the transgenders are going through right now. Tanya was thinking about that story 10 years ago. How do I know? Because she talked to me about it. People that she met on the street that were in transition, who were being, you know, attacked and families had put them out and, they, you know, just the whole, all the drama that goes with that. So everybody's doing stories on that now. Tanya Grady, she was thinking about that story. She had several people picked out that she was actually going to do a story and follow them to, you know, I guess a full transition. So Tanya's inspiring because if she sees something that looks like a story, she doesn't approach it with what about this or what about that? Do I have this? Do I have the money? She'll find some lighting people. She will find a, a, a videographer. She will go wherever and you know, she just is inspiring. She's a storyteller and she gives you that impression of if you see something that's a story that has power and power and the ability to suck people in, just go at it, go at it. Don't let anything stop you from pursuing something that you think is gonna be impactful 
and change people's lives. And she just, she bleeds producer. She bleeds, she bleeds storyteller. It's in her DNA. And that's inspiring. It's very, very inspiring. Greetings. My name is Tara Renee. I am the founder and president of African American Women in Cinema Organization. Over two decades ago, I met a beautiful young lady by the name of Tanya Grady and was so intrigued by her tenacity, her charm, her willingness to support other people who look like me. And I am just so grateful to God that God allowed our paths to cross and get journey. She never ever forgot who I was and never ever ceased to try to be of support and assistance in any way possible that she can. One of the uh, most memorable moments that I will forever hold close to me was when she called me and said that she wanted me to be interviewed on CNN. And I was floored because I love CNN and that major, being on that major platform was a major deal for me. And to have Tanya Grady facilitate that and make that happen was incredible. So Tanya, from one woman leader to another, I want to wish you a happy 25th anniversary. May God continue to bless you with many, many, many more. And we are so grateful that you are in this industry with us and making a difference for many women of color to come. Thank you, Tanya. Yo, Brooklyn in the house. What up, fam? Grady Girl, AKA Red Room, AKA Best to Ever Do It. What's up, Tanya Grady? Congratulations on 25 years in the media game. Much, much deserved. Well, well deserved. You are the GOAT. I remember back in the day, back in the A, where it all started, CNN, we were doing our things as kids, man. And you really took the bull by the horns, getting out there in the field, getting to specific events that were held in Atlanta, putting me down as a young photojournalist. I can't say enough. I just want to thank God for bringing you into my life. You were a blessing to me and a blessing to others. And I just know that he's got a big plan for you down the road and in the near future and doors are gonna open wide open for you. Uh, just keep following him, keeping him first in your life. And uh, I see nothing but success. Hey, keep knocking those doors down. Keep doing your thing. You are worldwide known, You're doing great things in the community of Brooklyn. And uh, I got nothing but love for you, baby. Keep doing your thing. We love you down here in the A. Congratulations on 25 years in the game. You are a trendsetter. Always will be. We love you.